Hey guys, um, I just finished watching iDigital Universe's uh, tutorial on dynamic cloth in Cinema 4D. And I've never actually done this in Cinema 4D, I've only done it in 3ds Max, but it's basically the same thing. And there is, I've tried it now, and there's just a few things that I want to point out that, that iDigital Universe didn't really talk about. Um, this is basically for more advanced users and basically what I want to show you is if you're working with um, highly detailed cloth like for example if you here is what what you would you'd have with his tutorial if you follow him exactly as he did it here's what you'll have if I'll just pause it there and as you see, the cloth itself is intersecting with itself. And um, you'd probably have some problems with the cloth intersecting with the object that it's supposed to collide with also. So uh, what I did was I went into the cloth tag and um well first of all you can play with the the settings here it, it'll uh change the look of and feel of your cloth a lot but that's what I'm not what I'm not what I'm going to show you I'm going to show you if you go to expert in the cloth tag and you check self collision first um basically that's just going to prevent it from intersecting with itself, it's just going to collide with itself which it isn't doing otherwise and global intersection uh, analysis I'm not sure exactly what that does but I guess it just improved the overall collision quality like it'll be more careful with uh, how it's calculating the collisions and stuff so uh, and yeah, that will uh, take a lot of your memory. So what you can do is you can check cache mode and calculate the cache. And it'll calculate it. Now you should have a smoother uh, animation. like so. Just some basic tips if you're working with uh, larger projects you can use this to uh, minimize uh, workload on your computer and yeah so that's that's it thanks for watching bye